Stella, Splash, Simba, Boo, Sammy, Richard, Nancy, Goldie, Ziggy, Ringo, Eva, Hydrox, and Ditto, the Lucky Pharaohs.
It's 2 p.m. And it is the first day that we've had sun like this in a while. It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day. It's going to be almost 70 today. I am not scrubbing litter boxes. I want to get some other stuff done. I need to get some work work done today. And I'm hoping to go outside and enjoy some sunshine. Um, I just spoke to my neighbors and it seems that they want to put up a new fence, which I'm really happy about. Can you see Eva? She's right here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up because she's in the shade and it's so sunny here. Um, but so what happened was since all of the, the shrubs and the bushes and the trees were removed last year, um, everything is more out in the open. There's a lot less privacy. So um, they just told me that they want to uh, extend the fence that I have like along the back and along the side farther down their property line because um, the fence kind of stopped where they had like a bunch of trees but now that the trees are not there and the bushes are not there like everything is completely exposed um, so I had to talk with them and I said yeah I'm, I'm fine with that so they're going to try to match the current fence that I have and then they're going to run it all the way down the property line to the road and I told them that that should look really nice. Um, you know, a brand new white fence always looks really nice. And we'll see how that goes. After they put the fence in, then I'll have a better idea of what's going on as far as like my landscaping on my side of the fence. And if I want to make any changes. I think Nancy's watching um, the movement underneath the fence in the back. Because I just saw, yeah, there's people walking around. They have the landscapers like, today's like the third day that they have landscapers just ripping stuff out of that yard. That was the yard that I always said was just like wilderness. It was completely overgrown. It has taken them days to just clear everything out of that yard on top of all the clearing that they did like last year. So I think that's what Nancy's watching. She's keeping an eye on the movement underneath the fence. It's 9 a.m. and here's Boo. Hey, Boo. He's hanging out by the window in his room. Look what's going on outside. Can you see this? So yesterday, I put some bird seed out for the birds and the squirrels. And it's still there. Like, nobody has touched it. And there's some more bird seed. So that's kind of strange to me. I'm like, why has nobody come to eat that? I can hear some birds chirping. Here's Stella. So there's some kind of work being done outside. There's a truck and a trailer. And I hear like power tools, machinery. I don't know what it is. Oh, they're at my neighbor's yard, my next door neighbor. And I don't know what they're doing. Oh, I think they're putting an irrigation system in because I see a bunch of hoses and they're digging up the lawn. I wonder if that's what they're doing. They have the property line marked. That has to be what they're doing. Yeah, they're putting in lawn sprinklers because I just read the side of the truck. It says they're a lawn sprinkler service, so that's what they're doing. Gonna be lots of noise today. Here's Simba, he just jumped on the bed. I opened the window, so he probably wants to go and smell some air. Last night, Simba was so hangry Oh my gosh, he kept wanting to start a fight with people. And then he was just being so nasty. And then the cats had, um, they each had to squeeze up at night and then they had some little treats. Then he was happy again. But that's what happens with Simba, he gets hangry. And then he starts chewing things he's not supposed to chew. And that's how I know when he's hangry, when he starts chewing things. Then he starts being mean to his, uh, his brother and his mommy and his daddy, you know, Stella and Boo. But then he had some snacks, he was okay. And uh, nobody woke me up last night. Well, I mean, they woke me up this morning, which is, you know, fine. I needed to get up anyway, even though I still fell back asleep. I'm trying to get used to this time change. So there's been a lot of um, improvements going on with uh, two of my neighbors. So the one that's been cleaning out uh, his yard, I mean, I say his, but there's there's quite a lot of people living there now. I just always refer to it, um, you know, as his. And then 
um, the other one next door, um, I believe a couple moved in. It was supposed to be an older woman moving in, but that never happened. Um, so I think they're renting it out now to a couple or maybe this couple is um, family to them because I know that house has been kept in the family. So um, it's great that they want to make improvements to it or whoever owns it wants to make improvements to it. And so far, everyone has been super nice. Um, everyone new that I've met um, that's moved in um, over the past year has been super, super nice. So if I think about it, every house surrounding mine has had new people move into it over the past year or year and a half. Like all of my neighbors from two years ago are completely different. And even the houses a little farther down, like not the ones that are immediately near me, but the ones like the next ones over, half of those have new people living in them. So there's a lot of change going on in this area and in this neighborhood right now. Much of it is for the better. Um, so that's good. Boo, I put your bunny on the TV. Boo, I put your bunny on. It is 5.50 p.m. And I'm working on my computer right now. And all the cats have been mingling for, I don't know, the past hour or so. Because I was out today. I just got back. And all of a sudden, I heard Simba screaming or screeching. Screeching is a better word. And I was like, oh, I better go see what's going on. So I know it was not Nancy because Nancy came running out of Boo's room and Boo's sitting by the windows in his room. So I came into this room and this is what I saw. There's two cat beds on top of the armoire and Simba's in one and Splash is in one. And Simba was giving a dirty look to whatever cat is probably now under my bed, most likely Richard. But Richard was probably on the cat tower, and that's probably why Simba was screeching. But these two cats are so funny. Simba and Splash are so funny. They are really like the two old men on The Muppet Show. If you remember, like, The Muppet Show, how you had the two old guys in the balcony that used to make their comments. Because when I walked in and I saw the two of them up here, I was like, oh my gosh, it is just too funny. Simba, you're so funny. Splash, you're such a funny boy. You two are so funny. There they are. They're like, don't bother us. We're in our balcony. Simba. Simba. Simba, what are you doing? Simba. Simba. Simba! Boo, what's going on over here? Simba, what was that about? What was that about, Simba? Boo's like, I don't know what's going on. He's like, I don't know these people. 
What is going on over here? It is 5.53 p.m. and I did not walk into this room to see that. I walked into this room to show you something completely different. This is what I just found when I walked into the room to scoop the litter box. You see this? It's ants. So these are the first real ants of the season. I found two stray ants downstairs uh, over the past few days. Uh, but this is obviously a group of ants. There's a trail of ants. I have to find out where it's coming from. And then I have to go find my ant bait and start putting it down. It is March 14th. I was really hoping I was going to have another month that would be ant free, but no luck. It's 10.30 p.m. and I gave the cats a little bit of crunchies. And look what's going on here. Look, look who's on the left hand side. That's Nancy. So Nancy's been upstairs for the past few nights and I don't want to jinx anything, um, so let's just say that she's been behaving herself and there haven't been any issues. It's been really nice. And then later on she goes downstairs and she sleeps downstairs with, um, you know, the lucky seven. So today I was trying to clean up the kitchen and she was meowing at me and I know she wanted crunchies because here's a little tub of crunchies and she was rubbing on it, rubbing on it, rubbing on it. So I was like, you know what? Let me see what would happen if I gave her some crunchies with the older cats. And so far, everyone has been getting along. Again, I'm afraid to jinx anything because in the past, every time I've said something positive, then she gets it in her mind to attack somebody. So um, that has not been the case. So someone's growling. I think Boo's growling. Um, I'm going to give everyone just a little bit more crunchies. I didn't give it to them on a crunchy plate or anything. I should probably give it to them on their little coffee filters. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to document this. I just gave the cats one more teaspoon. I don't know where Nancy went. I think she's in the kitchen. But one other thing that I did want to mention is that Stella has been with the Lucky 7, like, all day for the past several days. Even when I'm not home, she's been staying with the Lucky 7. She usually sits on one of the dining room chairs. And what's been really interesting is that she has been really exerting herself as Alpha of the house. Now, I've always said Stella was Alpha, but she lets Boo think he's Alpha because Boo likes being Alpha. But when it comes to the Lucky Seven, Stella has really been stepping up and being like, you know what? I am the queen of this house. I am the Alpha of the family. I am the head matriarch and everyone better get in line. So I think that is why uh, Nancy's been behaving more recently. Uh, because of Stella's influence on her. Like, Stella is not taking any of Nancy's shenanigans at all. And maybe that's been helpful. Maybe Stella's been acting like the mom cat of everybody. Right, Stella? Stella said it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of tough work, but she's been doing it because someone has to keep them in line. Right, Stella? So... I'll give everyone just a little bit more crunchies. They've been off crunchies for a while. I gave them like one teaspoon last night, but I've been working late today and I've just been kind of snacking. So I figure, let me give them a snack also. Look who came back. It's Nancy. She was walking into Boo's room, but then when she saw me opening the crunchies again, she came over here. She's eating out of her little paper filter. Stella and Splash. And there's Boo and Simba. And you know what I just realized? I just realized that maybe Stella has been telling Nancy to stay away from Boo. Because, you know, Boo is Stella's Boo. Not Nancy's Boo. And Stella says Nancy can't have her Boo. And Boo's growling.
What are you doing, Nancy? It's okay, boo. It's okay. Nancy's behaving right now, okay? Boo's telling Nancy that she better not get any ideas. Because he's not going to cheat on Stella. Nancy and I are going downstairs. Nancy, you did so good. You did so good, Nancy. Nancy. Nancy, you did so good. You don't need to look under the door. There's nobody to look at under the door. You did so good, Nancy. You did so good, Nancy. Everyone finished their dinner quite a while ago, so what I've been doing is opening up a can of food and then splitting it seven ways, and then usually if they eat that, then I'll open up another can of food and split it seven ways, and then that's it. They haven't really been getting crunchies uh, much either, which just reminded me that I do need to buy some crunchies. We are down to less than one bag of crunchies, so um, I have to remember to do that. And we're also almost out of our freeze-dried chicken breasts. Here's Sammy. So this is a very old sleeping bag that I took out of one of the closets down here. And I wanted to put it in the washing machine. But I have like the washing machine that has an agitator in the middle of it. Like my washing machine is quite old, but it still works great. So I haven't gotten a new one yet. And... The care instructions specifically say to use it like a commercial washing machine that does not have an agitator in it. So I, I need to take this to a local laundromat and uh, I was going to do it the other day, but then it was raining really bad. So I was like, no, I'll, I'll do it a different day. But anyway, I turned it inside out. So uh, this is actually the inside of the sleeping bag. I haven't used this sleeping bag in so many years. And um, the other night, I was like, okay, I'm going to lay down here and sleep for a little while. And it was kind of it was kind of cold and I was using this blue blanket, but I had this down here and I was like this is a super warm sleeping bag. Um and I was like I'm just going to lay it on top of me just uh, for some added warmth. Well, Sammy jumped on it and she has just been enjoying it like every single day since then. Every time I come down here, she's like luxuriating on this sleeping bag. I don't know why she likes it so much, but maybe it's the material or maybe she feels how warm it is also because a little while ago I was just sitting on it and I was like, oh wow, it's so warm and comfortable. I could just totally relax here myself. So Sammy loves it and I still have to take it to the laundromat and get it washed. After like last fall's flea situation, I'm just trying to make sure that everything is washed very well. How you doing, Sammy? You smell crunchies? She probably smells crunchies on my finger. How you doing, Sammy? You're so cute. Hello, Ziggy. Hello. How are you? There's little Eva, she's scratching on the scratcher. Nancy and Richard. Ringo's on top of the cat tower, he sees something outside. And who are we missing? We are missing Goldie. I saw her a little while ago, I don't know where she is. So I have been combing these guys every morning or every other morning right now to make sure that there are no fleas popping out. Hopefully um, we'll be back to normal this year. We won't have any. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Ziggy.
Richard, you want to come up? You come up? If I sit up here, then he likes to come up and sit next to me. Come on, Richard. Coming up. Richard gets very sleepy in the evenings, but the minute some snacks come out, then he wakes up. Would you like some food? You want something to eat? Okay, you're just tired. Everyone is eating their snack. There's Ringo. Maybe he doesn't want one. If they eat what I gave them, then I'll open another can. It's just a 5.5 ounce can. So it's just a little snack for them. Ringo, your plate is over there. Right there. Your plate's over there, Ringo. Or you want to look? Oh, Nancy's going to eat that. All right, that's fine. Everyone is finishing, so I will open one more can. I just gave them the second can of food, and now Ringo's eating some of it. Nancy already had some crunchies, so she better not think she's conniving me out of any more, because this is it. I'm going to shut off the lights, then they'll just have the TV and... A night light, and then we're good. I just need to clean up upstairs, and then I'm going to go to bed also. It was a long day today. Boo's hunting a lizard tonight. It's 6.45 p.m. and I wanted to show you the three cats sitting by the window in Boo's room. But of course, Richard had to jump down. Um, but it appears to be Ringo on the left and Ziggy on the right. And Richard was in the middle. It's a beautiful day out today. It's nice and warm and they're enjoying some air. It's 7.45 p.m. and look at what's going on down here. That's Ringo, Ziggy, and Goldie. They're all taking a nap on this sleeping bag. Nancy was crying at the door. So I was like, okay, Nancy, I'm going to put your dinner together. For dinner tonight, they're having some canned rabbit. It's the Merrick rabbit pate. And also some of the freeze-dried rabbit primal. And I reconstitute that. So I'm going to heat up some water, add it to the freeze-dried rabbit, and let it reconstitute for a little while while I scoop the litter, give everyone fresh water. By the time I do that, the food should be reconstituted and then everyone will get a plate that is half canned and half freeze dried. So they should like that. There's Richard. He loves that bed. So there's like a bed next to him, two other beds here, several other beds throughout the room, but he loves this bed. Like this is his favorite bed. And here's Nancy. And there's Sammy. And they're hanging out here, so I'm gonna go work on their dinner. It's 12 p.m. and here's Richard. You see what he's doing? He has his paws stuck in the screen. Now that is one of the pet screens, I believe. Okay, I just got it out. I'm sitting here trying to edit a video and I just noticed he was like, he was stretching onto the screen. I was like, oh no, it's not good. It's 6 p.m. I just walked in the room and I wanted to show you what's going on in here, but I can't because Simba moved. So what was happening is that Stella's here on the left Boo's on the right and Simba's in the middle. Well, he was all stretched out. His back legs were on Stella and his front paws and his front paws were on Boo. And I could not believe my eyes because, you know, Boo doesn't really get that close to the cats where, you know, he's letting them sleep on him. Usually Boo will get that close to me. Like Boo will sleep on top of me sometimes. Like if I'm sitting on the couch, he'll come sit on my lap. And he could be a lap cat like that, 
but he's never let any of the other cats do that. So the fact that he was letting Simba kind of rest on him, that's big progress, Boo. What a good job, Boo. That was really good, Boo. That was really good. Okay? He's stretching. He's like, I know. <laughs> so every single litter box in the house was clean today. I took them all outside. I scrubbed them down. I put fresh litter in all of them. This past week, I purchased a bunch of litter. I took all the litter bags. I had like six bags of cat litter in my car. I took them out. I was using those. And then I put them, um, whatever was left downstairs. And I finished a little while ago. I sat down, had a snack, but now I need to go out, get a few errands done before um, it gets dark or the stores start closing because nothing is open here tomorrow. I live in a, uh, we have blue laws here, which means the majority of stores are closed on Sundays. And I feel like a scab on the side of Boo's face there. I don't know if that's because he was itching himself or he got hit. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a scab there. So that means um, I need to go out and take care of some errands today while stores are still open. And I am hoping to be back in like an hour, two hours top. So right now it's six o'clock. I'm hoping to be back, m maybe 7.30. We'll split the difference, maybe like, maybe about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna get going. The cats are gonna relax a little bit. And then when I get back, they could have their dinner because their dinner still needs to spend some more time defrosting. Okay, boo, I'm gonna go. Look what's going on here. There's three cats by the window, but they see me. So they want to come and rub up against my legs. Ziggy's still there. It's 9.40 a.m. And I slept in today. I just got up and look at this. That's Stella, Simba, and Splash. It took me a while to figure out, like, which cats these are. I thought maybe that was Boo on the right for a while, but once he moved, then I saw the white fur, and I was like, yeah, that's Splash. But I saw this near the window, and I was like, who is that? What cat is in the window? It ends up it's just the way that the curtains are um, kind of bunched up. But the way the light was on it, it really looked like a cat. Like right now it looks like part of the curtain, but five, 10 minutes ago, it looked like a cat. And here's Bowie's in his room. For some reason, he loves this piece of fleece fabric. I had it by the window because the window was really drafty when the weather was colder. And I don't know, one of the cats kind of decided that they wanted to use it to sit on instead of having it bunched up near the bottom of the window to block the draft. And it's, it's really one of Boo's favorite spots in his room right now. Good morning, Boo. These are their coffee filters from when they had crunchies last night. So I was up way later than I should have been last night. And the cats had crunchies like after midnight, which I should not have done, but I decided to give it to them as like a once a week treat and they really enjoyed it. They only had two teaspoons each. I just put Boo's favorite lizard video on the TV for him. Good morning, Simba. There was just a big fight in this room. I was in the kitchen preparing breakfast, very late breakfast today, really more like a brunch. And I heard what sounded like a really big cat fight. And I walked down the hall and I saw Nancy, Richard, and Sammy running out of this room, Boo's room. And Boo is here. He has not moved from his lizard video all morning. So I knew Boo was not involved in it. I also peeked into my room and I saw Simba up here. Now I know Stella's in the dining room because I've been in the middle of editing a video all morning and she's been sitting on a dining room chair with me. So that means we have one other option and that would be Splash. Hey Splash. Yep, it's Splash. So Splash was under the day sofa. And if you look at the video, which I'm gonna show you right now. Hey, what is going on? What is going on? Who's fighting? 
We can see Richard lunging at whoever's under the day sofa. But thankfully there was no fight. There was a lot of cat screaming and nasty noises. But at the end of the day, it wasn't a fight. It is 2 p.m. and here's Stella. She's sitting on a dining room chair next to me. I'm sitting here editing a video. But I need to take a break and go for a walk. So I'm hoping to go for about a half hour. I don't know if it's gonna to be too cold to do that, but that's my goal right now, just to get some uh, exercise and activity and movement. Um, I think I need it for my mood right now more than anything, because the last three and a half months have just been ridiculously stressful and I, I need some vitamin D and I need some exercise and I think it'll just really help with my overall mood level. So here's Nancy and Richard and Stella and Simba are going to be out and about with the other cats. Splash and Boo are in Boo's room. Boo finally moved over to the window in his room so I shut the door and the two of them are in there. So it's just Stella who's been out and about with the Lucky Seven every day while I'm away for a few hours a day and Simba who's on top of the armoire so he should be fine. Uh, the cats all seem to be settling down into their afternoon nap and it was sunny before it's looking like it's starting to get cloudy so i'm hoping that it's not too cold for me to take a walk i just really want to get out get some movement it would be nice to take a walk in nature but i don't have time to go to a park or anything so i'm going to walk along the woods i don't like going into the woods it's just not a really good place to walk around here i'm just going to walk along the edge of the woods maybe that'll be good there's a cherry tree almost in full bloom right now. There are some happy ducks in the in the water. It's 2:42 in here splash. He's on top of the day sofa. I just got back and I did it. I did a 30 minute walk. I was actually out for a little bit longer than 30 minutes because I was poking around in the woods. I got to see some ducks in the water. There's like a body of water in the woods. And I noticed several locations where people seem to be feeding the wildlife. Like I noticed some uh, corn cobs and some heads of cabbage and carrots and stuff like that. So I thought that was nice. But the reason why I don't like walking around inside the woods too much is because it's not just like a flat area. Um, it's very hilly and um, it's a very uneven ground. And I'm sure there are plenty of like, I don't even know what you call them, raccoon dens there and Lots of other wildlife, um, you know, I don't need to be disturbing them or causing problems or anything. So I, I prefer to just view from a distance and, you know, maybe take a few steps into the edge of the woods, but I don't like going farther in than that. There are some woods that are just nice flat places. They're easy to walk into and walk around in and the one here is really not that case. It's kind of steep in areas and uneven ground. And I just know there's a ton of wildlife in there. I mean, the skunks, the possums. I don't know what areas they make their home in. And I don't want to disturb their little dens or I don't even know what you call them. So that's another reason why. But what I did realize is that I have a headache. And that's probably why my mood is not the best today. Um, I have like... I think it's a tension headache because it's like the top of my head, but it's not a sharp pain. It's just like a dull ache on top of my head, which makes me think it's like a tension headache. I know I need to drink more water, so I'm going to go make myself a big glass of water and work on that. I'm not having any caffeine at all today because I do want to change my schedule. I want to go back to an earlier bedtime and I want to get up early. Like I want to be able to get up around seven o'clock. I've been sleeping to like 8 30, 9 o'clock. Like today I didn't get up until like nine o'clock. So I want to get back into 
a routine that is more in line with the sunshine. The sun's been rising around seven, so that's when I want to get up, which means I want to go to bed earlier. I've been going to bed like one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. That is way too late, but I haven't been getting done with my day until like 10 or 11. Like yesterday, my day wasn't done until 1030. So that's why today I'm trying to do a reset, start winding everything down at 9, lights out at 10, and then I'll be in bed by 11. When I mean lights out, I mean it's like all the major lights for the day. I, a few lamps could still be on, but just to starting to, to wind down, get ready for bed, that kind of thing. You know, all the work is done, the kitchen's cleaned up, all that kind of stuff. So Boo looks very relaxed right now. The air outside smells like someone is having a giant barbecue. That's what it smells like. So that wasn't too enjoyable. Also, it was quite cold outside. My ears are a little bit uh, achy from the cold and I did have to wear like a down jacket, but I'm very happy that I went for the walk because it always feels good after exercising. So I am going to hydrate, gonna work on editing a video. I'm still trying to get other stuff done today like laundry and cleaning, but I think I'm not gonna go anywhere today. I think I'm just gonna stay stay home with the cats and just work on stuff around the house. Right, Splash? Look at Boo. He's so happy. He just loves it there. I don't know why. Maybe he just loves that blanket. It's 7.30 a.m. I got to bed at a decent hour last night. I feel pretty good this morning. My alarm went off at 7 a.m. And as soon as the alarm went off at 7, Boo crawled on top of me. That's where he's laying right now, on top of me. So I was like, I guess Boo does not want me getting up at 7. So I've hit the snooze button three times but I have to get up now because I have an early appointment today. Come on, Boo. Boo, we gotta get up, okay? We gotta get up, Boo, okay? Boo, we gotta get up. So here's Boo laying on top of me. I'm trying to move and he's not moving. There's Simba on the edge of the bed. Oh, now, Boo, now Boo's moving. And here's Stella laying next to me. Boo just went back to laying on me. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I gotta get up. It's 8.35 a.m. and there's Splash. Hey, Splash. He slept in a cat bed on one of the chairs in the living room. There's Simba. It's so funny because the cats, like their schedule is completely off. There's Boo. He's by the TV already and there's a new video for him. This is a fat gecko. Stella was playing with it last night and today Boo's already already hunting it. Last night I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought a new little dry erase board for the meal plan for the cats. The other one was getting old and every time I tried to erase it it wasn't fully erasing. So for $1.25 if I have to buy a new one every few months that's fine. And I put the meal plan together for them. Now this is all homemade food except for Friday morning, which is canned fish. And then Friday for dinner, which is rabbit. Um, because they've been having rabbit once a week. And that's been like half canned food and half freeze dried food. Although I'm out of both, but I figure I'll probably just go buy some canned rabbit. There's also one store around here that does sell um, rabbit parts. And that just sounds so horrible. But... There's a few stores that sell whole rabbits. There's absolutely no way that I would be able to deal with that at all. Um, the one store that sells rabbit parts, I've purchased those before and I have made homemade food with those. So I'm thinking maybe I'll see uh, if they have those. The thing is, it's really expensive. I could always order frozen ground rabbit from the website where I've ordered it in the past. So I gotta figure this out, but right now, um, the rest of the week is pretty much set. And then, I mean, that's all the homemade food that I have in the freezer downstairs because I'm still in the process of restocking it. 
So I definitely need to make more food this week. It is 8.55 p.m. And the cats are eating their dinner. I had to work later than expected tonight. And I just got back around 8 o'clock. And then I had to do all the litter boxes. I actually sat down for 10 minutes to relax. And I just gave them their meal. So they're having homemade turkey. Here's Splash. When I gave Splash his meal, I noticed there's redness around his neck, like on his white fur, like over here on his white fur. And I was like, what is that? Is that like blood? Like, what is that? I couldn't figure it out because Splash and Simba were in my room today, the two of them alone. And when I went out, they were in there with the door shut. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Well, I do know what that is. That's Simba. Because what Simba has been doing to Splash recently which I've caught him doing a few times like over the past week is that thing where he bites the back of Splash's neck and kind of gets on Splash's back and he'll do that for quite a while and Splash will be like fine with it and then I guess Simba bites down harder and then Splash will eventually be like get off of me I've had enough of that so I'm pretty sure that's what the um, marking is on his back. I think Simba might have bit too hard, maybe drew a little blood, but yeah, that's crazy. That has to be what it is because there's no other explanation. The two of them were alone together in my room unless maybe they got in a fight. I don't know. Maybe Simba like scratched him on the back, but based on what I've been witnessing recently, I think Simba was biting the back of his neck and that's what happened. Um, I definitely need to uh, put a camera on them like when I'm when I'm not in the room uh, make sure there's a camera on the cats to see what they're doing it's 8 33 a.m. and boo is hunting lizards on the TV good morning Simba Simba woke me up this morning because he wanted treats Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Richard. There's little Eva and Ziggy. Good morning, Sammy. Good morning, Ziggy. Today is a very special day for the lucky seven. There's Sammy and Goldie on top of the cat tower. Today is a very special day for the lucky seven because today is March 21st. And today is the day that we celebrate their birthday. So last year, I celebrated their birthday on March 21st because March 21st will always be the first day of spring for me. Even if it's like yesterday or whenever people want to tell you it is. In my mind, March 21st is always the first day of spring. So we made it to spring. So I'm so happy that spring is here. And we're going to start celebrating their birthday today. I don't know exactly when their birthday was, but just based on estimates, based on when they showed up in my yard and like their size and everything. Now, if Nancy and Ringo are the parents, uh, their birthday could potentially be, you know, like six months prior. So while I'm estimating that the Lucky Seven turns two years old today, it could be that one or two of them are actually... A little bit older than two years old but that's what we're going with we're having a two-year celebration today because it was estimated that they were born March of 2022 and it's now March of 2024 so that would make them two years old hello Richard so I was thinking this morning about how uh, we could celebrate their birthday because in the past good morning Nancy in the past, what I've done for cats on special occasions is let them have like friskies or fancy feast or something like that because they eat homemade raw food all the time that when they have some canned cat food, it's really a treat for them. However, what I've been noticing is the past few times that I've done that, they haven't been so happy um, with that kind of food and it hasn't been really special for them. So what I think I'm going to do today is I'm going to go to Costco and I'm going to buy some frozen seafood because they haven't had that in quite a while. So I think I'm going to buy a bag of frozen scallops and maybe even some shrimp 
Um, I'm not going to do lobster tails because I did lobster tails for Valentine's Day. Now, they all love the lobster tails for Valentine's Day, but, you know, lobster tails are really expensive, especially for 11 cats. So that's what I would like to do today. I'd like to go get some seafood, maybe make some steamed scallops for them. That would be a real treat. Then I'm also thinking of going to the supermarket and getting a whole bunch of chicken wings and then making homemade food based on chicken wings. I haven't done that in a long time also. Right, Nancy? So the other day I made homemade raw food with chicken drumsticks. And, and prior to that, I was using chicken thighs. And I've been using a lot of chicken necks and then just boneless meat chunked up. But they haven't had chicken wings in quite a while. So I'm thinking of doing that also. But that would not be for their dinner today. That would be for, you know, maybe tomorrow or uh, this weekend. I moved uh, this toy over here and Sammy's playing with it more now. It was in the uh, back room and she wasn't playing with it much. But I noticed that she was playing with the one upstairs more because the one upstairs was kind of like underneath the coffee table. So I put this one over here so it's like half underneath the rebounder, half outside of the rebounder. And now she's back to playing with it again. The cats also really love crunchies, but, you know, they get that if I'm away for uh, a day or the weekend. So I don't want to give that to them as a special birthday meal. I mean, I could do like a charcuterie plate for cats where they have like all different kinds of foods and treats to choose from. But I think they would really appreciate the seafood because they haven't had fresh seafood in a while. Right, Richard? But first, we're going to start the day with some treats. These are the Blue Wilderness Cat Treats Tasty Chicken Flavor. I get these at like Marshalls or Home Goods or TJ Maxx whenever I see them there. And the price on these, these were $4.99. And all the cats gather around. Okay, here you go. Want some treats? Who's not here? Ringo and little Eva. Where are you guys? You want some treats? Come on, guys. Come get your treats. So this gives them a little treat. And this also serves another purpose, which is that it keeps them content while I get ready for my day. Oh, there's little Eva. There she is. Here you go. Here, Eva. So it keeps them content while I get ready for my day because there's not a whole lot of action outside um, with birds or squirrels or anything on the patio. And I'll put the TV on for them also so they'll have a video to hunt. Oh, there's Ringo. There's Ringo. Hey, Ringo. Maybe I'll put together some new wand toys for them today also. I have to see how much time I could carve out today, which is why I say that we're going to start celebrating their birthday today, because usually what happens is if I don't have enough time in like one day, I just make it into like a multi-day occasion or a whole weekend occasion. Today's Thursday, so maybe this will end up being like a four-day weekend event for us where we will have special birthday meals or special birthday playtime. I just put the grasshopper video on the TV and Sammy is already trying to get the grasshopper. It's a good thing I decided to go to Costco today because I just realized that I am totally out of water, like bottled water to drink. So that is what I'll get there also. And I'll probably go there earlier today rather than later. So I have to see if there's anything else that I need there. The one that I'm going to is not the main Costco. I go to the local Costco, which is just a business center. So it doesn't have all the stuff that a regular Costco has. It really only has like food stuff. And then it has like um, chef restaurant equipment and uh, like cleaning supplies. It doesn't have like all of the, the other things that a regular Costco has. And the food that it has is also different. Like I could get the brand of bottled water that I like at the business center, but I can't get it at the regular Costco. And I think like the seafood and stuff that I could get at the business center is the same that I could get at the regular Costco, but they do have some stuff at the business center that is different than the regular Costco. So 
that's where I am going to be going today. And it's just much closer to where I am versus the other Costco. I just got back from running errands. Let's take a look at my cat food ingredient haul. So I wanted to make cat food based off of chicken wings and chicken wings are about 45% bone. Um, so, hey Sammy, hello Sammy. Um, so I ended up buying a whole bunch of these boneless skinless chicken thighs to use as the boneless meat portion of the recipe. Um, these are $2.99 a pound. Recently, I've been using a lot of the boneless, skinless chicken breasts because those have been on sale for like $1.29 a pound. So I decided to splurge on the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. The cats haven't had these in a while. And I do like giving them dark meat better than just only white meat. They've been getting a lot of the white meat recently. So I got about 14 pounds of these chicken thighs. So this package is 3.27 pounds. There's Nancy. And then this package is 3.15 pounds. This package is four pounds. And this package is 3.18 pounds. So it's roughly 14 pounds. And then I got these chicken wings. This is the largest container of chicken wings that they had. These were $3.49 a pound. Now I've been using the drumsticks recently, which were 79 cents a pound. And I even got like the thighs with the bone in uh, for about 99 cents a pound or $1.29 a pound recently. So getting chicken wings for $3.49 a pound, it's a little bit more than what I've been spending, but I think it's good to give the cats more variety. Also the chicken wings have a lot of like cartilage in it. So I think that they're gonna be really good for for joint health. So based on this package, which is 4.69 pounds, I calculated out that this is roughly about two pounds worth of bones, which is how I figured out that I need 20 pounds worth of chicken in total. Um, and also I will be adding about two pounds of organ meats. So I have to make sure I have that in my freezer. And all of this chicken is going into my refrigerator today because usually what I've been doing there's Ziggy and Nancy. Usually what I've been doing is buying the ingredients one day and then making the food the next day. That works out really well so I don't lose too much time in one day. It took me two hours to run my errands this morning so you know I need to catch up with work and stuff. I also got a package of eggs and these are Nelly's free range eggs. These were on sale for $2.99 so I didn't want to pass that up even though I do have a dozen eggs. Um, I figured I'd, I'd get more because I have been giving the cats hard boiled eggs several times a week in their food. The other thing that I got at the supermarket was this boneless bottom round roast. And this was $3.99 a pound. So $3.99 a pound for beef has been a good price around here recently. Um, in the summer months around holidays, I could usually find it for like $1.99 a pound. But that's usually on a special sale. So I'm really happy when I see it for $3.99 a pound. And this is gonna go in the refrigerator right now. And then when I prepare this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it into chunks and this will be used for chunky beef for the cats. And this will definitely be enough for several meals. I'll probably be able to get three meals out of this, maybe even four. Now we're on to Costco and here's what I got at Costco. I got a bag of these Kirkland wild caught sea scallops and this is for a birthday dinner for the cats. This is like a treat for them. They don't get this all the time, pretty much only on special occasions. And what I'll do is I'll steam these for them and then they'll have it as like a side dish or a meal topper. It's not gonna be their complete meal, but it will be a good portion of their meal. So what I'll normally do is I'll give them maybe like two thirds of their normal food. And then the other third would be some sea scallops or I'll give them half of their normal food. And then the other part would be some scallops or some other seafood or even some, um, a little bit of canned food as a treat for them. And I also got this bag of shrimp, farm raised raw tail off. What I like about it is there's no preservatives and no chemicals added because it seems like it's harder and harder to find frozen shrimp that does not have um, like different chemicals added to it. Um, and this doesn't have any chemicals, so that is good. Some people don't like farm-raised shrimp. They prefer like, I guess, wild-caught shrimp, but uh, for the cats, I'm okay with it. They don't eat it every day. It's just an occasional treat for them. 
It is almost 1 p.m. and here's Stella. She's sitting next to me helping me work. She wants a bunch of pets right now. So I'm trying to upload a video because um, yesterday I finished editing a compilation video for the Lucky 7. And overnight I had it um, render um, and it was ready to be uploaded this morning. There's Nancy. And I wanted the video to start uploading before I ran my errands, but I wanted to get out early and I forgot to start doing that. So what's happening is I'm trying to upload that video. I've tried like four times so far and it keeps disconnecting. I'm trying to upload it off of an external hard drive. And I don't know why, but it just keeps disconnecting. So I just swapped out the wire on the hard drive it's USB and I'm hoping that it uploads the entire thing because it's a four hour video it's a really big file right now it's telling me I have one hour and six minutes left to upload it so I'm hoping it does not disconnect during that time I don't know why it just keeps disconnecting so that is what's going on so I kind of don't even want to touch my computer. I don't even want to touch this entire table, which is my desk. I'm going to maybe get the vacuum out and vacuum, but I don't want to like jiggle anything or disrupt anything. Maybe I'll just go and clean the kitchen. Maybe I'll clean some stuff downstairs. Maybe I'll clean some areas away from here that are not going to disrupt it. I just feel like any movement might disconnect the hard drive. So... Right now it says one hour left. It's up to 6%. Let me show you what I got at Marshall's the other day. I'm going to put this outside. Although maybe I should wait because we're supposed to get heavy winds in a few days. Um, there's Ziggy. She's checking it out. So it is a little yard statue with these two cats. Oh, isn't that nice, Ziggy? And it says it's outdoor safe. It was in the garden area. Hey, Ziggy. And I bought it to replace the broken statue that I have for Hydrox and Ditto. <coughs> Sammy's checking it out. Hey, Ziggy. And it reminded me of Hydrox and Ditto, even though it kind of looks like two little girl cats, but it's just, you know, the uh, representation of the two of them. Because the two of them always used to love to headbutt each other and they were in love with each other, so. Hello, Ziggy. So I figure I'm gonna put this outside. I'm gonna probably go outside now. It is so cold today. Look what's going on here. I bought a case of that water. I got an Amazon order today. I don't, can you see what's going on? Sammy has decided she needs to sit in that little box. I purchased some salmon oil for homemade cat food. That's what was in the box. There's Nancy by the back door. Um, but it is so cold today. When I was out, when I was out running errands this morning, it was like winter. I mean, the past few weeks have been much warmer, just like really nice. It really has been feeling like springs on the way. Today, it feels like we're back in January. It is so cold. Look at Nancy. I just put it outside near the cat shelter because Hydrox used to love laying by the crocuses and the spring flowers around here in the sun. So on the right, the lighter gray statue is the old one that I had and the new one, the black one is on the left. So I do like the new one because it's black and they were, you know, black tuxedo cats. And it's really similar to the one on the right. Like I am shocked at how similar it is it's probably from the same manufacturer because the cats are like the same size. They have like the same paws and the same faces. 
like really similar faces. So it's so weird how similar they are. And then I just happened to randomly find both of them. The one on the right was from Christmas tree shops. And then the one on the left I got at a Marshall's uh, like a week or two ago. This is why I wanted to replace the statue. Do you see where the ear used to be? The ear is totally broken off and I've looked everywhere for it. Can't find it anywhere and it's just gone. Um, it happened with the landscapers last year. Um, I don't know if uh, this was knocked over and broke that way uh, or what, but you know they come in here with the really strong blowers and they blow everything around and pretty sure that's what happened to both the statue and the ear. So I am very much hoping it does not happen with this statue this year. I've been cleaning up the kitchen while I'm waiting for the video to upload and I also just planted some fresh cat grass. So hopefully in about a week the cats will have some nice fresh cat grass to munch on. Sammy, what are you doing? She's laying on this little like cooler basket that I have. It's like an insulated shopping basket. I need to put it in my car. I need to put all my shopping bags in the back of my car so the cats don't lay on them. I don't know why they love laying on shopping bags. This is the cat grass that I need to throw out. You can see it's definitely past its prime and that's why I am growing some new cat grass. I should have started it several days ago, but I didn't really have much time. But today I was able to make time because I'm waiting for the video to upload. And here's Nancy and Ziggy. And Nancy had some crunchies because I was cleaning out a crunchy container. And we have to remember that if Nancy is the mommy for the kittens, then this is a big day for Nancy too. Right, Nancy? Because if Nancy is the mother of the kittens, she did an amazing job keeping everyone fed and healthy, right? And keeping everyone together. You're a good mother, Nancy. Whether you are their mother or not, you are a very good mother because you act like their mother. Right, Nancy? Nancy is the mama cat. Whether she is or not, that's how she acts. So that's what we're going to say. The video just finished uploading. I am very, very happy about that. Now it has to go through the processing stage. So right now it's 2 p.m. Um, it took about an hour for the video to upload. So maybe it'll take another hour for it to process. There's Ziggy. Sometimes it takes longer than that, so we'll see what happens. But at least the most difficult part is over. It has already been uploaded. Now it's just up to YouTube's system to do the rest. Let me tell you what else has been going on here. So this is my aluminum siding on my house. And I don't know what it looks like on the video, but in person, it is extremely faded and it's like all chalky. So when I bought this house, it was blue. It was a nice shade of blue. And now the paint is just totally like degraded and it's kind of like this grayish, beigeish blue. Like it's just all faded. Like around here, can you see where the paint is like fading? It just looks really, really bad. And if I touch it, I don't know if you could see it, but like this residue comes off. So what I've been doing over the past week or so is I have been getting estimates to get this house painted. It desperately needs to be painted because it just does not look good anymore. As the neighbors are improving their houses and their yards, yeah, it just makes my house look worse. So that's what I've been doing. I've been getting estimates to get my house painted. And I've gotten several estimates so far, but it's not like a one day project. They told me that it takes one day just to power wash the whole house and to you know, scrub anything that needs to be scrubbed and clean everything down. Then they have to do two coats of paint. They have to do all the trim and everything. So it's going to take like a good four or five days, which is going to be really interesting to see how the cats kind of deal with that. Look at what's going on in here. That's Simba and Boo. They're laying on the bed together. So because the weather is still getting so cold at night, they won't be able to start working until like the middle of April, I believe that's what they told me. So probably like another four weeks from now. 
And when they do start working, it's going to take four to five days for them to do the job because one day is all just power washing and washing the surfaces. Then they do two coats of paint and then they do all the trim and everything. So it does take quite a few days and it'll be interesting to see how the cats deal with that. Because when we had the roof done, I mean, that was done in like half of a day. And that's when Ditto was here. And that was like early March of 2022, if not the end of February of 2022. I don't remember the exact date, but it was only a few weeks before he passed away. And he passed away March 18th of 2022. So I remember that was super, super stressful for the cats because, you know, it, it sounded like we had a thunderstorm on the roof. Uh, but it lasted only a few hours. Like that was done really quickly. I'm trying to think like other than like landscapers, there was no real big work done here while I had the cats. I mean, the only other thing would be the trees when the neighbors took all the trees down. That would have, that would have been like the other big work that was done around here. But again, that was done in like less than a day. And hopefully since it's only painting, it's not going to be a lot of loud noise. It should just be like spraying and brushing and taping and that kind of stuff. So that would be the one good thing about it. There's Sammy. Can you see her? And once the outside is painted, I know it's going to give me motivation to work on painting the inside of the house, which really needs it also. For example, this is what the gates do to the door trim. Do you see how the gates just kind of rip the paint off of the doors? Yeah. So that's what the gates do when you're using the gates like on a daily basis. Over here, you could see it just pulled off the uh, outer coat of paint i guess at one time these were like a beige color but over here it ripped it down to the wood over here over here over here so all of this needs to be sanded down and then repainted and this is not the only door that needs that it's 6 45 p.m and i am going to start cooking these wild caught sea scallops for the cat so i got these at Costco earlier today and these are frozen scallops and I'm cooking them in my itaki pot. So the way this pot works is it steams the food in this bowl. I put some water in the bottom of the pot then I put the frozen scallops in here. There's 11 cats. They are each going to get one scallop and I put two extras in here because I'm hoping I will get the two extras and that's all I have to do. I just have to put the lid on and I have to press the power button. And that's it. What happens is the bottom heats up and it heats up the water, which creates steam, which rises and then cooks everything in the pot. So these should be done in 20 to 30 minutes. I'm not sure how long it's been, but I'm going to check on the scallops. Let's see what's going on. It looks like they still need to cook quite a bit. Here are the scallops after they have steamed. Notice that they do give off quite a bit of liquid. I'm just going to let them cool down right now before I cut them into pieces for the cats. I just tasted one of these scallops. They are like so good. Completely plain, nothing on it. And they're just so good. They're so like sweet and buttery. Really, really good. I'm going to eat one more of the small ones. Then that'll leave 11 for the cats. And I'm going to cut these up. Then they'll each get one on their meal. This is the birthday meal that each of the cats are getting. So what we have is some chunks of raw beef, but I didn't have enough for a full meal of beef. So what I did was I took two cans of the kitten's favorite canned food. And these are salmon and turkey shreds that I get from a local supermarket. It's like an all natural brand. So I mixed two cans of those into the beef. And then each cat has one scallop on top that I cut into pieces. Now this is not a complete meal for cats because the beef is not balanced with organ meats and bones and supplements but this is a special occasion meal so that's fine feeding a meal that is not a complete meal is fine as long as it is an occasional meal and not an everyday occurrence so this is a special occasion we're celebrating the lucky seven and their second birthday so that's why the cats are getting this special meal today here is boo stella splash and simba and they're all digging into their meal. It's pretty late for them right now. It's about 9.45. It's much later than I wanted to feed them dinner, but unfortunately I had some work distractions tonight, some very late phone calls, so it is what it is. 
we're going to continue to celebrate the birthday of the lucky seven over the next several days. So if I don't have time to get to some things today, it'll happen over the next few days. Here's the lucky seven. They're all waiting for their dinner. It takes me a little while to portion it out. They're getting hangry. They're getting hangry with each other. So here's their meal. They're having the same thing the other cats are having, which is the beef with the canned food mixed in, and then they each have a scallop on top. So let's feed them their meal and see how they like it. There's Sammy, Goldie, Richard, Ziggy, and Nancy. And then over there is Ringo and Eva. Ringo is just eating his food. I don't know why he's not eating right now. Ringo, go eat your plate. But everyone is digging in. He's looking at Nancy's. He's going to eat Nancy's. Ringo, you got your plate over there. Your plate's over there. Everyone else seems to be enjoying their food. Even Nancy's eating. Oh, Ringo's eating now. It looks like Richard ate all of his scallops. Ziggy should like them because Ziggy really likes seafood. Okay, so I'm glad they're enjoying their meal. Now I'm going to go upstairs and clean up the kitchen. I have not even been able to load the dishwasher and the cats are already looking for more food because they enjoyed their meal so much. They're banging on the door. Look at this. All these plates are empty. Ringo left a little food on his plate. So this meal was definitely a success. And this is a good way for someone to test out raw food with their cats. If someone has never fed raw food to their cats, a good way to try it out is just to take some like raw chicken or raw beef and cut it into pieces and mix it into the cat's favorite wet cat food and what that does is it introduces a little bit of raw food to the cat so you get an idea if it's something that they might like or might not like in this case you could see the cats devoured it because they love it but maybe if they've only ever eaten dry food or wet food then maybe they would have left it on their plate i'm very happy this was a success and even nancy's going back for more she's cleaning ringo's plate I am going to now give them a little bit of crunchies because this is like a birthday celebration and that's what they'll get now and hopefully it'll keep them calm enough not to bang on the door so I could uh, clean up the kitchen. I put some crunchies on the plate so whoever wants them can have them. There's Ringo up there, Richard, Ziggy, Nancy, and everyone else seems to be good. It is 8.45 a.m. Good morning, everyone. There's Sammy and Nancy and Goldie. Look at all of these empty plates. So last night, the cats had a crunchy party, right, Nancy? Nancy loves having a crunchy party. So they had their special dinner, which was the beef with the canned food and the scallops on it. And then they wanted crunchies, specifically Nancy, so I gave them crunchies. And I was like, okay, that should be fine. But nope, they wanted more crunchies. So I was like, okay, it's a special occasion. I gave them a bunch of crunchies. Nancy loves the crunchies. Ringo loves crunchies. And there's Ringo. Hey, Ringo, he looks very tired. And we're all getting a little bit of a late start today. I wanted to get up early, but then I started scrolling on my phone to try to just like catch up with news and what's going on in the world and stuff like that. So next thing I knew it, like an hour went by. But anyway, we're starting to get moving now. So I just came downstairs to turn the lights on, see what's going on down here. Look what's going on here. It's Richard and Ziggy. They're laying together in the royal cat bed. The cats love sharing this bed. It's always like a community bed for more than one cat. There's little Eva. What I realized this morning is that I wanted to give them catnip last night. I wanted to get their little catnip mats out and give them catnip on it. But with everything that ended up going on last night, I totally forgot about it. And on top of it, I was so exhausted. Like around 10, 1030, I just started getting so tired because I had been up early yesterday that I, I just wanted to go to bed and get to bed at a decent hour. And I was going to sleep down here for a little while, which is why the pillow's here. And I have like a blue blanket underneath the sleeping bag that still needs to be taken to the laundromat. But what happened was 
Um, I was laying here and I was playing with a laser pointer for a while uh, with the cats. But then all of a sudden we heard a noise upstairs, which sounded like all the cats upstairs were running around and freaking out. So it made all the cats down here run around and freak out and they all hid. So I was like, what is going on? So I got up and I turned all the lights off down here and I went upstairs and I was looking around to see what happened. And Stella was in the cat tower and Boo was by the TV. So I knew it had to be Splash and Simba and I checked the security camera footage. And what happened is Splash and Simba were on the cat towers by the window, but then they got in a little fight and then they were chasing each other around the house. So that is what the noise was. And then that's what freaked out the cats down here. So at that point, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go to bed. So I went to bed upstairs and didn't come back down here. Also, I have to find the Allen wrench that goes with this cat tower. Because I don't know if you could tell, but the platform that Ringo is sitting on is crooked. It's a little bit loose, so I have to find the wrench to tighten it up. Also, the one Sammy's on is a little bit loose. I don't know where the wrench is, though. I don't know what I did with it. Hey, Nancy. Good morning. I wonder what they're watching. It's 11, 11 a.m. and there's Simba. He's on top of the armoire. All of the cats are freaking out because the landscaper showed up about five minutes ago. I had no idea they were coming today. And I guess they're doing like a spring cleanup. They have like all the blowers and other equipment and it's really loud. And they've like descended upon the yard and the cats are not happy. Splash is hiding, Boo's hiding, the kittens are like freaked out, they're hiding, so Simba's on top of the armoire, Stella's on a dining room chair because I'm cleaning up my desk, and yeah, I was just talking yesterday about, you know, having work done outside and the cat's not flipping out, and the landscapers always do it. Here's Boo, he came out, he must have heard me. Hello, Boo. Don't be afraid, it's just landscapers, okay? It's just landscapers. They've been here before, okay, boo? They're trying to make the yard pretty, okay? It is 9.45 p.m. And I got home 15 minutes ago. I went out and I purchased um, some cat food, some canned cat food. Today's rabbit night, and I didn't have any left, so I went to Patco. And I went to Trader Joe's, and I made a few more stops. And I went to the Dollar Tree and I just ran some last minute errands because tomorrow we're supposed to get a really bad rain all day. So I figure if I could just stay home tomorrow, that would be the best thing. Well, um, one of the things that I just did was fill up this water bowl with fresh water because I noticed that there is a tabby cat hanging around the patio. Now I know it's not Bob, because this tabby cat is thin. It's not a, not a big tabby cat like Bob. Also, I don't notice any white on this tabby cat. Uh, Bob has like some white on him. So this takes two pitchers full of water to fill it up. Um, so I did that. And both times that I went out there, the cat was hanging out around the patio. I don't know if this is the cat that's been using the cat shelter uh, I don't know what the situation is. I'm not putting food out because, you know, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I do have neighbors that uh, feed the feral cat population around here, even though that has dwindled drastically. Um, also, I don't know if this cat belongs to a neighbor. Now, the neighbor whose cat went missing last summer um I think they've gotten a new cat because I'm I'm 99% positive that that white and gray cat that was on my patio meowing at me um, like a few weeks ago, um, I'm 99% positive that's their cat because I've seen it multiple times in their yard with their other cat. Um, and they've always had that other cat that's been like an indoor outdoor cat. Um, when I, the last time I talked to that neighbor, he said that they had four cats, two indoor cats, and then two indoor outdoor cats. And then like one of the indoor outdoor cats went missing. They don't know what happened with it. And then I've seen this new cat, uh, in their yard with the other cats. So that's why I'm pretty sure it's theirs. 
the new neighbor that I have um, next to me on one side, uh, I know they have a cat because I've seen it in their window. Like when, when it's a nice day, they open up the window and it's just like the screen and the cat sits by the screen and uh, smells the air like my cats like to do. Also, um, the house behind me, I know they have a cat because I've seen it in their window. And the house on the other side of me, I know they have a dog. I've seen them walking their dog. So look at this. Look at this. Look at that. A big raccoon. I haven't seen raccoons around here in a while. Um, I also put a camera out. So right now, the camera should be recording the raccoon. <gasps> Is the raccoon? Oh, no. I thought the raccoon was going to go in the shelter. It's not going in the shelter. It's going around the shelter. And the light went on in the back. Oh, look, look. See the cat? You see the cat, the little tabby? Maybe it's been hanging out under my patio furniture. See it? This is one of the cats that the Lucky Seven has been watching through the windows. Um, Sammy's right um, near my feet right now. She's looking out the door. I'm not going to scare this cat at the same time. I don't want to be overly friendly to it. I have 11 cats inside. I don't need any more. Um, but it is very fearful. Do you see how skittish it is? One other thing that I should mention is that I have two friends that live in the next town over. And both of them um, have recently had raccoons in their attic. One called me today about it because she was freaking out because she's kind of afraid that it's going to somehow make its way out of the attic and into the rest of her house. I had referred her to a pest control company that I had used like 15 years ago when I had a raccoon in my roof. Not here, not when I was living here. When I was living in my last residence, I had a raccoon in my roof there. And so I guess they came out yesterday um, they put like a tunnel um, in the opening where the raccoon made itself into the attic. Um, and then they monitor it for a few days and then they could tell when the raccoon has come out. So she's been upset about that. And then I also have another friend um, that had a raccoon in her attic, I don't know, like a week or two ago. Same situation. I referred them to uh, the guy that I used in the past um, when I had the issue. So what I learned is that right now it is squirrel baby season. So all the squirrels are having their babies right now. And a lot of people are having problems with like squirrels in their attic or squirrels in their home. Um, but a month after the squirrels have their babies, that's when the raccoons have their babies. So we're a few weeks away from raccoon baby season. And that's something that I learned very recently. So um, it's surprising to see the raccoon here because I haven't seen any in a while. This is some of the cat food that I stocked up on today. So I have six cans of Friskies. This will be a special treat or special snack for the cats. Um, this is Merrick Rabbit Pate. And this is one meal for cats because if I'm feeding 11 cats and they're each getting half a can of food, I need six cans of food. Um, so that's potentially for next week. This is what they're having tonight also. Um, I opened two cans for the upstairs cats and I'm just about to open four cans for the Lucky Seven. Um, I went to Trader Joe's and I bought some cans of their Wild Alaskan Pink Salmon, no salt added. These are six ounce cans. And what I'll do is I'll add organ meats and bone meal and supplements and turn this into a complete meal for cats. And the same thing goes for this Trader Joe's solid white albacore tuna in water, no salt added. I bought a bunch of cans of that also, and I will turn that into a complete cat food. What I'm finding is that if I do this, if I buy tuna for humans, salmon for humans, and then add the organ meats, the bone meal, the supplements to make it a complete food for cats. They actually like it better than the canned fish cat food, if that makes any sense. And then over here in these stacks, um, this is the food uh, that the kittens, the Lucky Seven, love this food. This is nature's, 
This is nature's promise. Free country, grain-free salmon and chicken dinner in gravy. There is also a chicken dinner in gravy. Now, both of these are a little bit high in carbs, so I don't feed these to the cats as a main meal. But, for example, if they eat their dinner and they have a no-carb dinner, um, if they have, like, homemade raw food and I didn't put any vegetables or plant matter in it, and I never put more than 5% vegetable matter in it to begin with, um, then I figure, okay, then they can get like one or two of these cans split amongst all of them uh, as a snack. And that way it balances out with their meal. I also bought eight of these Trader Joe's wild caught unsalted sardines in spring water. And these I sometimes mix into the raw food instead of using fish oil. I'll give them sardines and they like that. So this should be enough canned food to last several weeks for the cats. I could probably get one, two, maybe three fish meals out of this, um, one rabbit meal, and then the rest are just like snacks or treats. And uh, yeah, so that's one of the things that I did today. It's 11.15 and I just gave the cats some catnip. This is part of their birthday treat. I gave them each a Nipsey mat and I gave them some catnip on each one. And right now, Sammy and Goldie are wrestling in the back. Ringo's walking around and everyone else is enjoying some catnip. Oh, now Sammy is playing with Nancy. She just chased Nancy under the rebounder. There's little Eva on the bottom with Siggy, and Richard is on the pink one. So I'm going to turn the lights off and go upstairs and then give the uh, older cats some squeeze-ups or churus. That's going to be their treat for tonight. And yeah. When I shut the lights off, um, the TV's on um, with a gecko video, and there's also a night light down here, so um, there's plenty of light for them to see. Ringo's walking around in the back. All right, good night, everybody. Enjoy your treat. Enjoy your catnip.